Target <laughs> on my way to a store um, running a little bit of errands um, there are a couple of things I intended that um, I haven't sent off my husband's first care package I intended to a few days ago but um, then he called me again with a couple more requests <laughs> so um, I'm going to Walmart to grab those now um, it's an absolutely beautiful day here in El Paso. It's hot. It's not fall yet. But it doesn't change how gorgeous it is outside. And I'm grateful for that. Um, I just, I don't care how hot it is. You can't be in a bad mood with a sky that is so clear. You just can't. But um, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to grab a couple of things. Um, I'm starting this vlog so late. It's probably like noon at this time. Um... I had a headache. I woke up with a headache. So I just like, I haven't been feeling my best today. Um, and when I'm like, when I don't feel good, I don't, I don't eat, I don't do anything. And that's probably making it even worse. So y'all, I have been to Walmart, I think three times this week. And it, it was not, oh, I want to go browse. The first time it was a necessity. Um, I saw that they had my uh, son's, um, the Halloween costume that he wanted. So I went and I got it. The next day, I went and I got stuff that my husband wanted me to send to him. Now today, my daughter's having company. So it's like, oh, can you please go get us some snacks? So I'm just like, Walmart, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm really considering buying some stock in Walmart. I bought some in Target. I need to buy some in Walmart because as much as I'm in there shopping, I need to be making some of them profits. But um, I want to show you guys the things that I got from uh, the store. I know you all see um, some uh, holiday stuff. Don't judge me. Um, it was just so cute. And honestly, I saw them at Hobby Lobby and they're two more, they cost two extra dollars there. So I'm like, I'm gonna grab them at Walmart. I already dug into these little snicker bags. Um, my daughter, you know, she wanted me to get some snacks for her and um, her company. So I got them these spicy chips that all these kids eat nowadays. I got some um, crispy chicken strips. Um, uh, some strawberries and some more Christmas stuff. I saw these um, Buffalo Check Garland and I thought they would be the cutest addition to um, my um, garlands that I'm going to do around the house, the evergreen garland. So I grabbed those up. Um, I, Whenever my children have company, I always do things like TV dinners or um, something like the microwavable. Um, I have noticed that a lot of times when I actually cook a meal, um, her company doesn't, I don't know, maybe they're just not accustomed the way I cook. They're not, they don't really eat it. So um, I just like, well, you know, I'm pretty sure um, chicken nuggets is something universal that most families have in their house. So I'm not gonna sit there and, you know, make the kid eat things that, you know, like my family eats that they may not be um, accustomed to, so. Um, yeah, last time I tried to be all fancy, I made a pork loin, and those uh, teenagers did not eat it. So, <laughs> this is the haul that I got to be sure that they'll have a good amount of snacks and won't be hungry. So, you guys, now I am a little bit later on in the day, and I have already made dinner, and now I am um, sitting down with my son to read. Um, I know this may look a little unconventional. I do not take my children to quiet places to do homework and things like that. There's always something going around in our house. And um, I do that intentionally. Um, I'm the type of parent that I do not take stressors away from my children. I try to get them coping mechanism to deal with stresses or distractions because in real life, you're not always going to have a quiet space and it's not always going to be a stress free environment so um, I want them to learn to do things in spite of difficulties versus removing difficulties if that makes sense so um, yeah that's why there's a ton going on and I still try to get my kids to focus through the crazy I just feel that it'd be a good life skill So now that we are finished up with homework, I am uh, straightening up the kitchen. 
Um, it was quite a mess throughout the day. As I told you guys earlier, I wasn't feeling my best, so I didn't do much housework during the day. I took a little bit of Advil and, you know, it took the edge off my uh, headache, so I just got moving. Um, right now, as you all can see, there's a little bit of my items from my hole, and I'm just trying to clear my countertops. That's how I always go about cleaning the kitchen. I try to get my countertops done first and pretty much everything else. I'll even sweep the floor first because I hate doing the dishes, so I always try to make that the last chore. So I I could just wash the dishes and with that I'll be out of the kitchen and just you know be on with the rest of my life <laughs> right now I'm just hand washing um there was space in the dishwasher but sometimes um I just feel like hand washing gives it a more thorough clean so um today I just thought it you know maybe it's just time to go on and do it the old-fashioned way to make sure every little um crumb and cranny is off of the plates I keep leaning over because I'm watching um, one of my, um, it's a new show that I started on Netflix. It's called Winx. Um, I really like like little like fairy or like um, witch movies or magical. I think that's so much fun, just that little bit of fantasy. So whenever little things like that come on to Netflix, I'm always a big fan of it. So you guys, down in the comments, let me know how your evening routine goes. Or do you all have a set thing that you do just like every night? Or do you just try to just maintain and stay above water when it comes to bedtime and homework and, you know, get in the kitchen cleaned up for dinner? In the comments, let me know. And now that I've completed the dishes, now I am going to uh, wipe the countertops down. Um, I usually just go in with either my uh, Mrs. Myers cleaner, but um, right now I am going in with my um, lice, my uh, pine saw, and my water mixture. Um, I use Mrs. Myers throughout the day and things like that, especially for the scent. But um, if I want, you know, if I feel like oh it's time to disinfect these counters, I'll bust out the pine saw and give it a good spray and wipe down. So now guys, I'm gonna move on to the dining room and clean this um, table up. I'm gonna take all of the items that I got from Walmart earlier and uh, put those away. Um, the Christmas decorations and the Christmas pants, as you can see. Um, I'm also getting this bucket. This is where I hold all my son's like art supplies and crafts and things of that nature. So he uh, lugs that thing around um, the house. You know, whenever he needs to do his homework, he brings it down. And um, a lot of times he'll stay up in his room at his little desk and he'll like color and just do his little crafts there. So I'm pretty much finished with the dining room table and I'm just going to spray it down and um, just give it a good uh, wipe down. So on to the living room, uh, real life mess you guys. I have so much nonsense in this living room that needs to be picked up since the kids came home. Um, as y'all saw that, that literally <laughs> was um, some food that I ate earlier during the day. It was like a takeout box. I came in, I just dropped it down. I don't know what else I had to do, but I sure plopped it down there. <laughs> I really didn't pay attention to it, but now it's gotta get picked up. I'm getting all of Luna's toys out of the middle of the floor. 
Um, Y'all know how it is. You've got kids and pets. It just seems like there's a collection of their belongings everywhere. And now that I finished, I decided I'm just going to sit down for a spell and um, put my feet in my massager as I watch my show. So after my break and right before bed, I put together my husband's care package. Now, um, this is an impromptu care package. He needed some things immediately. A couple of things that he forgot um, that I told him to take with him <laughs> and um, some things that he just wanted. So um, what I did is I got some poster board from Walmart and I put it around the edges of the box, kind of like a chalkboard. So me and the kids could just write on it and doodle on it and just let them know that we were thinking about them and that we miss them. Um, usually I get a little bit more elaborate with my care packages. I'll do like um, a holiday theme or I'll do like all blue items in it. Something of that nature or a color theme. Um, just so something fun for him to unwrap when he's over there and he'll be thinking about us and know that we're thinking about him. But this one was very quick and impromptu. So I just had a quick idea to throw this together. And here's the box all packaged up. Um, the next day I did it fairly quickly. As I said, these are some things he forgot and he really needed them and I really needed to get it in the mail um as you know the uh, weeks and the months go by that he's gone i'll definitely put more effort into the next ones but you guys we are at the end of my video i hope you all enjoyed all the cleaning motivation and the real day in the life of an army wife nothing too fancy just um letting you guys know that we are all in the same boat of momming and trying to maintain our families at home and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye